Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a trick of how to remove the invalid entry in Excel VLOOKUP. So uh, let's say this is like the database that we have and then we want to look up for the compare ratio for those two people. So you can see the first person, um, if we look at the formula here, we do have the name here, but then however, we really don't have the compare ratio data available for this person. So in this case, we have a zero lookup. Um, and for the second one, actually, um, we're looking for this person who does not actually exist in this database. Um, so when we do the lookup, it's going to show us not available. But then uh, we don't really want want to see those uh, invalid entry there. Like, how do we fix it so that it's not showing anything um, in our cells? So I'm going to show you here uh, how to do it. So you still have the we look up and then you look up the name um, and the range for compare ratio. Um, da, da, da. But then when you find that it's actually a zero uh, or actually uh, to avoid zero from showing up when there's no data here, just put on um, and after your uh, we look up and then put um, uh, empty tax and then it's going to show as nothing um, here. And then for the for the case where you actually don't have uh, the employee data available here, uh, what you need to do is an if error function. And then after you have the if error, you still use the same VLOOKUP function as uh, you would do, uh, no, actually, uh, as you would do for um, the VLOOKUP, but then you would actually um, take uh, the, uh, what's the number three, and then exact match but then what's gonna be added here is that uh, this is a value that you're gonna have if you have a value but if you don't have a value then you have a blank space there and then you close the if error and then that's also gonna give you a blank cell here so you know that um, it doesn't so it doesn't uh, mess up your format um, and um, actually the two functions you can use them in um you can use them in combination so that would also give you a more neat uh we look up when you try to look up something from a complex database okay so that's everything i want to cover today and i hope you like it thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you like it if you have any question please leave me a comment and i will talk to you very soon